We've got more ice hockey coming up in the British Championship today. That's the Five Flyers against Murrayfield Racers. Before we do that, let's have a look at the comparative lifestyles of a couple of stars of the game of ice hockey. Tony Hand, who we'll see in action for Murrayfield later on this afternoon, is a British star. But that's nothing in comparison to the world number one, the acknowledged world number one of ice hockey, Wayne Gretzky, who plays his ice hockey in Canada. Reporting for us, Kevin Crosgove on the other side of the Atlantic and Archie McPherson here. Edinburgh was captured by tourists ages ago, but although they regard this view from the castle as the definitive statement of the city, a lot of the dynamic detail of the Scottish capital eludes them. This is a dynamic young man. Admittedly, he looks fairly anonymous in an Edinburgh street, but then only Gene Kelly would make something of a walk on a pavement. Even if we follow him to his work, that gargantuan plant, most modern and fine, where gas is converted into pounds and pens, he is but another of the many apprentices grafting away to make a living in an area where employment can sometimes be a privilege rather than a right. To be honest, even some of his mates have been slow to recognize his nocturnal activities. So far, so mundane. But then, veering towards the midnight chimes, the transformation. The dungarees give way to uniform, the apprentice climbs into the apparel of gladiator. Tony Hand boy in the street becomes Tony Hand ice hockey scoring phenomenon. The greatest homegrown prospect in the business. Murrayfield Raiders have landed in the playoffs, greatly helped by the prolific scoring touch of Han, who's piled up more goals than any other homebred player. Now, every ice hockey man is aware that the public sometimes think the sport is a mere artistic version of tribal warfare. And in asking Canadian Gord McDougall if that image still persisted, we became aware he'd been asked that before. Maybe ten years ago, that was, that was what was happening in the game. Ten years ago, it was... They were going more for the big, the bigger goonie guys. But nowadays they're going for the, the young skaters, you know, the good skaters and the technique with the puck is what's really, what really matters right now. You know, that, that stuff there doesn't, you know, has no bearing on the game anymore at all. I don't think. But you would admit that some of the public like to see a bit of fight oh, yeah. and angle. Yeah, most, you know, they like to see a little bit. That's all been part of the game for years, though. Appealing though that may be to the blood seekers, the game in fact transcends all of that. The coach, not surprisingly, is a Canadian, Alec Dampier, who isn't merely engaged in raising skill level, but of constantly promoting an infant sport. Go, Paul. Alec, well, how, how long is it that you can take to develop a player who's hardly ever skated before? and develop them into an ice hockey player of tolerable standard? Uh, I think that really depends on, on each person's uh, individual skill, but uh, someone like Tony Han, who's one of the best in the country right now, probably didn't start playing until he was uh, nine years old, and Tony's now 17, so, but he's an exceptional case. I think most people take a little longer than that. He obviously has natural ability. Oh yes, he's uh, very, very talented. You know, good hand, high hand uh, coordination. Tony. It's half past ten at night. You've just got an ice. All of the, the people are off now. It's been a very long day for you. Is this what it's like every day? Yeah, this morning we got up at uh, 6.15. Started work, half seven. Went to the 3D. Uh, got home and here now. So. It must take a lot out of you, though. Oh, it's tired too. Especially if you stand your feet all day working. And you're here training. And you're out get home late at night. Half early in the morning. Well, when will you finish tonight, for example? Uh, tonight, about half eleven. Time to get to bed, which is about one o'clock. How many hours sleep do you get? Uh, tomorrow, about six, six, seven hours. Yeah. Okay. 
typically, I mean, in, in a week. In a week average, so <laughs> lucky the five and a half. Their loyal band of supporters, about uh, 2,000 strong, need steady nerves to face up to the prospect of watching Murrayfield play Durham. We got Trapper going with the puck right away. Everybody understand? Tony? Make sure you understand what we're doing here. I don't want Trapper loose on the far side. He's circling the wrong way. The playoffs are only a game away. And on a day of intense commitment, the enthusiasm of the crowd rubs off. Murrayfield go on to win this 6-4. But more importantly, the public interest has been rekindled. And yet the old world has many lessons to learn from that other world where ice hockey is less a sport than an addiction. For five months each year, Mother Nature provides Canada with complimentary skating rinks. More than a hundred years ago, a pond like this was the birthplace of Canada's game. The country's longest running radio and television program is Hockey Night in Canada. Today, ice hockey's most competitive league is made up of teams from both Canada and America. The game is watched by millions and dominated by one man. If ever a game and a country were made for each other, it's Canada and Wayne Gretzky. He began playing in his family's backyard, he was a star when he was eight, and at the ripe old age of 18, became an instant multi-millionaire when he signed a lifetime contract with the Edmonton Oilers. The game has evolved into the way he plays the game is a very wide open, offensive minded hockey game, and, uh, and he's just the best in the world at it right now. The mere mortals of the National Hockey League earn an average £100,000 a year, which eases the headache of how to stop Gretzky. Well, short of nailing their dressing room shut, uh, we have to key on. You have to take Wayne Gretzky's body, you have to anticipate the passes that he may make. Uh, you basically have to skate with him. In his six years in the league, Gretzky has broken every scoring record. In a game of relentless speed, he always seems to have time. And if he's not scoring himself, he's setting up goals for others. I'm not a big person, I'm not a strong person, so I have to try to stay ahead, mentally ahead of the game and stay one step ahead of the other guys. And the second thing is I utilize everyone on the ice. I use my teammates, my, my two wingers, I know where they are at all times, uh, and I can tell you where the other team is going to be and where, where they are at all times, and those are my two, two strengths. Introducing a new star, Rob Stars. Okay, let's have a good nutritious breakfast before we practice. In addition to his million dollars a year playing salary, the great one, as he's called, gets another two million dollars for being one of advertising's favorite sons. Right, Mom? That's right, Wayne. And you like full stars because your picture's on the box, right? From autumn to spring, North America's hockey teams crisscross the ice and the continent. Last week, Gretzky's team were in Winnipeg, a city that's the gateway to Canada's prairies. The prairies are peaceful. The hockey rinks aren't. You scream and you holler and you clap and you thump and you do everything. Anything to excite the players and get them really going. It's championship time here. A game that's always hard gets harder. To be a professional hockey player, you have to realize that it's physical. It's one of the most physical sports in the world, but it's enjoyable. How do you stay out of the way? How do you? Because they're always here. <laughs> if you had a guy six foot four coming at you, you'd get out of the way quick too. <laughs> the Oilers are the defending champions. In a tight game in Winnipeg the other night, naturally, it was their captain who scored the winning goal. Close doesn't count. Second is, is not first. And if you're not first, then you're not the best, and, and we like being the best, that's simple as that. It seems likely that Wayne Gretzky will shepherd his team to another championship. Well, we knew we were going to play physical. Uh, it didn't surprise us that much. At 24, Canada's most sought-after man has reached the stage 
where the only standards left to beat are his own. Sometimes I sit down and think about what I've done in the past and what I've accomplished. Uh, I feel excited about it. I feel happy and proud that I've done it. But then I sit and think that I'd like to do better. So I have a long way to go. And so, in a much quieter world, to 17-year-old Tony Han. And if he keeps his eye on the target, the Kretzky horizon might not seem so far away after all. Tony Hand, and there you see live pictures of the man himself on ice at Wembley this afternoon, where he'll be playing for Murrayfield Races against Five Flyers in the British final. Let's join Alan Weeks live.